So you want to add some text on your screen like Mr. Beast, right? It's easy to do in DaVinci Resolve. I've done it on a bunch of my videos and I'm going to show you how I did it. Let's jump into Resolve and check it out. So before we can jump into Resolve and start creating this text, we need to download the font that we want to use. So make sure that Resolve is closed. Don't open it until we get the font installed. Jump over to this website. I'll link it in the description below, but you can download the font for free here and it's called Kamika Axis, Comica Axis. Comica Axis, I believe that's how you say it. But it's right here, hit up that link and you can download it for free. Just click on the download button right here and you can download it for free. Who doesn't like free, right? So then you wanna get it installed on your computer. If you're on a PC, I don't have mine with me here, so you're on your own to figure out how to get that installed. But if you're on a Mac, here's what you gotta do. Go over to your applications, open up your font book, and then it's gonna look a little something like this. Once you're in here, just click on the plus, navigate to wherever you downloaded or saved your downloaded text file to. Mine's right here. Go ahead and hit open and it's gonna add it into your font book and then you should be good to go. Once you've got it loaded up there, open up DaVinci Resolve and it'll be in there once we get into adding our text. So I'm in DaVinci Resolve and I'm in the edit tab right now. I've got my video clips in there that I wanna put the text on top of. So let's go ahead and create this Mr. Beast text. So in order to do it, we need to put a piece of text on our timeline. So I'm gonna come on over to our effects library right here and make sure that that's open. Come on down to titles and you can use text or text plus. Either one will work just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and use text plus. So I just click, drag, drop it in my timeline. And now we want to have each of the words pop up on the screen as we say them, right? So I'm gonna just watch a little bit of the video here, hear what I say, and then I'm gonna type out the first few words there. Got to put on my headphones here so I can hear what's going on. So you want to add some text on your screen like Mr. Beast, right? Okay, so I'm going to click in here. We're going to come to our inspector, which is over here. First, let's change the font style to be the one that we want. So under font right here, we're going to go ahead, click that, and you want to go down to the font that we just loaded, Kamika Axis. Boom, there we go. So now we've got the font that we want. Now we're just going to type in the words that we said as I played through the video. Now I want it to pop up one word at a time. You can do multiple words if you want, but in this case, I'm gonna do it one word at a time. So our text clips are gonna to have to be small and fast. So now that I've got a few of my words in there, I actually want to position and size the text so that it's where I want it to be and the size I want it to be. So that way I don't have to do that for every single clip. So I'm gonna just come to my settings here and I'm gonna lower this down a little bit. I want it at the bottom of the screen. And I'm gonna come back to my title here and I'm gonna make the size a little bit bigger. So maybe I want the words to be, let's say about that big looks pretty good. Now it's okay they don't fit on the screen because we're only gonna have one word per piece of text. We're gonna delete them as we go. So now I'm gonna move back down to my timeline and I'm just gonna work through my timeline, make cuts on the text clip where I say the words so that way the word will pop up on the screen as I'm saying it. And another quick tip here, if you did wanna add like an outline or something like that, before we start cutting up the text, we could do that in our uh, one piece of text right here. So that way it'll be already applied to all of our uh, texts that we adjust here and the cuts that we make. For example, let's say I wanted a red outline on this text. I could come over to shading and there's actually a preset for it right here, red outline. I can enable that. And now we see we've got the red outline there and you can go through and make adjustments if you want and change it to look however you want. But that way everything is set up. You can set your text however you want before we start making cuts on that clip. So that way, all of our text will be exactly the same. You can always copy the settings later, but it's easier just to do it up front here first. Now I'm just gonna work through my timeline. And another little tip, as you're trying to make cuts on the text, you can either lock your other layers or you can turn off the auto track selector on these two layers. That way you don't accidentally make cuts on those tracks. We only wanna be cutting our text track right now. Then once I have cuts that are kind of close, I'm gonna go in, add my text so it only says that word, and then I can make adjustments to my text as I move along. And then once we've made our cuts, let's watch it through, see how the words pop on the screen, and do we need to adjust where our text starts and stops a little bit? Let's take a look. So you wanna add some text on your screen like Mr. Beast, right? All right, so gotta change this like. This one's Mr. Beast. We can even fade in our first text there a little bit. So you wanna add some text on your screen like Mr. Beast, right? It's easy to do in DaVinci. And there we go, that's how you can just add it in there real quick. It does take a little bit of time and you gotta you know, finesse it a little bit, but that's the gist of how you add it on there. Now, I only do this for certain parts of the video where I really wanna emphasize something or grab your attention um, or highlight something. So it's really easy, it's a simple effect and a simple way to do it. Pop it on the screen, if it works for Mr. Beast, it should work for you. Now in Mr. Beast's latest video I just checked out, I noticed he's got the same kind of text, but it sits on the screen and it's got like a waviness to it. Here's how you do that one. 
So let's say I have this text right here, Mr. Beast text, and I want it to have that wavy look to it, kind of like it did in his last video that I checked out just recently. So I'm going to stretch this clip out here. I'm going to fade it in a little bit, fade it out a little bit. Next thing we want to do is jump into our effects library. So at the top here, open your effects library, come on down to filters, and we want to scroll all the way to the bottom. And there's one on the bottom here called waviness. Grab that and bring it over and drop it on your text. So now if we play through here, you can see that it's going to be wavy. Check it out. It's easy to do in DaVinci Resolve. I've... All right, so that's a little much. We might want to adjust it a little bit. Just select your text clip, come into your effects. You can change the scale of it a little bit, change the speed of it. Maybe we want it to go slower. With strength, you can change that. You can adjust all these settings to make it however you want. And here's what it looks like. It's easy to do in DaVinci Resolve. I've done it on a bunch. Right, so maybe you want it to go a little faster. However you want it to go, you can make the adjustments here in your inspector. And here we go, easy, wavy text. It's easy to do in DaVinci Resolve. I've done it on a bunch of my videos, and I'm going to show you. So now you might be thinking, hey, wait, the text waved a different way. It didn't wave the way you're showing it. Okay, you got a point there. So we can change that very easily in our effects. So click your text. Come on back up into your inspector. Click on the effects right here and right here, waviness type. So instead of having vertical, which is this, we can change that to horizontal and it's going to look like this. Really quick and easy. Here's another cool technique I recently saw with one of Mr. B's videos, and that is the text pops up onto the screen. And here's what it looks like. Let's jump into Resolve and check it out. Pretty cool, right? Just kind of pops up on the screen. Same font and same everything. But here's how we do that. So create your text, just like we talked about already. And now you want to drop on a transition that's built right into Resolve here. So again, come to your effects library, come to your video transitions right here, and you want to grab the crash zoom. So let me just copy one of these texts over. We want to grab our crash zoom and we're going to drop it on the front part of our clip just like this now once it's on there you can make it longer or shorter that's going to determine how fast it flies in or flies out but that's all you got to do is drop that on there and then the text is going to pop right up there it is popping right up now i can make it slower by dragging this out or you can make it faster by making it shorter you just adjust it to the look that you want and then if you select the transition come on up to the inspector and then to the effect right here, you can add in some motion blur, which is going to help it just look a little bit cooler, I think. So that is how you make the text pop up and fly in on the screen real quick, just like Mr. Beast does. That is it for this one, guys. Adding text to your videos like Mr. Beast does. He does it. It gets him lots of views. You guys should try it, too, if you've got some videos where it makes sense. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this helpful. If you didn't, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that said, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Little tidbit, if you stuck around till the end here, you know by watching some of the big YouTubers, we can see what they do in their videos, analyze what they do, and try it out, right? I mean, I've got a tutorial channel here, it's a little different, but hey, we can still try some of those techniques and try it out, see what happens, right? A lot of YouTube trial and error here, right? You just you gotta try things, see what works. But uh, yeah, uh, just thought I'd, uh, thought I'd throw that in there. All right, guys, we'll see you.